Well, here one, Scott of the Scott Man. We are here in Cannes, Ohio. Well, just about a couple miles northwest of downtown Cannes, and we're in front of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. It is, if you are a huge fan of pro American football, this is basically your pilgrimage site. It was built back in 1963. Uh, they chose Cannes, Ohio for the Football Hall of Fame because of three. That's right, three different reasons. The first thing is Cannes, Ohio is the birthplace of the of the NFL. Although back in 1920, the NFL was called the American Professional Football Association. It later became the National Football League. The second reason is that back in the day, the Cannes Bulldogs were a big time powerhouse and, and even had legendary football player Jim Thorpe don't know who Jim Thorpe is he he was the very first Native American football player or professional football player and the third reason is that there was a petition by by citizens of Cannes, Ohio back in 1960 to bring the Hall of Fame here I've never been here before I've always wanted to come here anytime I pass along I-77 going south toward like the Marietta and like West Virginia area so I'll get on this side of the camera. So I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna go pay the admission fee, and then yeah, what I didn't know is that I'll always have to pay an extra $10 for for parking here too. So I'll have to pay $10 extra for that. Oh well, but should be cool though. I'm gonna go inside and, well, for sure warm up. <laughs> it's a little chilly out here. All right, after you, get your, or after you pay your admission fee, come inside and first, Look out, pro football all throughout the first century, starting with the, the 1920s. Yep, and there is a very cool statue of Jim Thorpe, and not only that, but he was the first NFL president, too. As you probably know, I'm from the Detroit area, so of course my home team would be the Detroit Lions, and although they have yet to win a Super Bowl, they have won three national championships back in the 1950s. Now excuse me while I go put on my paper bag. Yeah, this is pretty cool here. We got the year by year record showing the records of all the current and former NFL teams, or, or even some of the AFL teams before they merged with the NFL in 1970. The, the top half are the, are the current teams, and the bottom half are the former teams. And then yeah, the fifth line for the top they have for the uh, Detroit Lions. And of course, you can come down to 2008, there's the 0-16 season. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. We're gonna head to the Hall of Fame gallery next. up in, in this area this is where every every player or coach who was in the NF, or the Pro Football Hall of Fame ever since it was founded back in 1963 uh, you can find, find all, all of them in here like for example you got the ears at the top and then of course come down here you have the head bust of the of the player or coach who is in the Hall of Fame I got the, the player name, for example, and then the position, and then the team which he was a member of. Barry Sanders, 
very legendary running back for the Detroit Lions back there in the 1990s. Pretty cool <laughs> as a Lions fan. And, and uh, right under John Elway and then not far away from Joe Montana. And we come over here, we got the most recent additions to the Hall of Fame. We've got players like uh, Jerome Battos. Also, I have, have uh, Tony Dungy, the legendary coach from the, from the Colts. Although, yeah, didn't know he also coached the the uh, Tampa Bay Bucks before he did the or before he coached the Colts. And then also also have uh, Brett Favre as well. As well. Yeah, pretty cool. And and as you can tell, that this wall is blank. And for future years, uh, this is where they'll add on to the to the Hall of Famers. So I'll be curious who goes in for 2019 and beyond. Yep. So this is the the Pro Football Today exhibit. It's a, a different exhibits and mementos for for some of the more Modern players. Here we got you got the uniforms for Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott to pl play for the uh, Dallas Cowboys currently. Uh, football jersey for Aaron Rodgers and the game ball for uh, for uh, the New England Patriots 26, uh, 26, 26 10 victory over the LA Rams back in 2016. Yep, so cool exhibit here for Drew Brees. It made some big time achievements already this year in 2018. As you can tell right here, the first one that is the reached 6,301 career completions, and then not only that, but also became the all time passing yard, yardage leader huh, October 8, 2018, so just several weeks ago. That's the game ball from that game. And then also he's the fourth one to, to have completed over 500 touchdowns. Uh, only three other players have gone there first, and that'd be a Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, and Tom Brady. And then here are the official NFL draft cards. They're from the NFL draft back in April of this year. And there's even the other one for Baker Mayfield. He's currently playing for the Cleveland Browns. All right, next we're heading to the Lamar Hunt Super Bowl Gallery. I'll go ahead and read this really quick. The Lamar Hunt Super Bowl Gallery is named in honor of the man whose vision and love of sports not only gave birth to a new league but an international sports phenomenon he literally named. He was the guiding figure behind the formation of both the American Football League and the Dallas Texans franchise, which later became the Kansas City Chiefs. And, oh, and um, one thing I'll point out too is that the American Football League did become the American Football Conference, which is half of the current NFL. Because you have, in the NFL, you have the American Football Conference and the National Football Conference. Anyway, it was Lamar Hunt who named the Super Bowl and assigned to, the, to it the trademark Roman numerals. He is also responsible for suggesting the name of the Lombardi Trophy. Nicknamed Games during his childhood, Hunt's love for a uh, love of sports was his true lifeblood and passion. He was the first AFL figure to be enshrined in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. All right, let's go check it out. And one fun fact too, no lion has ever come through here.
and here it is. This is the Vince Lombardi Trophy. This is the trophy from Super Bowl 53. The, the Vince Lombardi Trophy is the main trophy that the winning team of the Super Bowl earns. I'm gonna continue down that way, but off camera, I'm gonna stop in the Super Bowl theater. Unfortunately, not gonna be able to film or take pictures in there, so I'll come back out after that and then continue continue on. Yeah, that I gotta say that was pretty cool. I went inside the uh, Super Bowl theater. Basically, it was like a 15-minute movie on on the on well, first the the road to the. Uh, Super Bowl 53, which is the the previous Super Bowl. In fact, it was the uh, the Vince Lombardi Trophy that was on display. It was the one from Super Bowl 53 between the New England Patriots and the Philadelphia Eagles. And then, and of course, showed some some very cool highlights of the of the uh, Super Bowl 53 between the Patriots and the Eagles. And it's like what's cool is that halfway through the video, it's like the the theater rotates 180 degrees, <laughs> almost like a little small ride. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're here at the end of the uh, Super Bowl exhibit and got the got some of the different jerseys from Joe Montana, Tom Brady, and Terry Bradshaw. And now we're gonna head back downstairs and we're gonna be getting ready to conclude our little visit today. All right, back downstairs and here is the displays for the class of 2018. Clean for Erlacher, Terrell Owens, Randy Moss. It's pretty cool. Ray Lewis. Like I say, I had a really great time here. It's like I've been here for almost three hours. Thought I was only gonna be here for a couple, but I'm glad I spent a bunch of or a lot of a bunch of time to come here today because that was really awesome. As a fan of American football, it was definitely a real treat to 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 come in and take a look around finally. Because I've wanted to come here for the past several years, but finally had a chance now. <laughs> And also toward the end of the tour, there's also a little cafe area and then also a pretty large gift shop too, to, uh, to where you can buy different jerseys, uh, memorabilia, you name it. <laughs> but, but one cool trivia fact, um, although it was a college football game, but back in 1999, I went to a, a, a Michigan Wolverines football game back yeah, again in 1999. It was a game against the Purdue Bo uh, Boiler uh, Boilermakers. I went with my parents and my uh, one of my uncles, and we got to sit at, at Michigan Stadium. And little as I knew back then when I was only 11 years old that I got to watch a game between future NFL quarterbacks Tom Brady and Drew Brees. Because Tom Brady was the quarterback for the Michigan Wolverines in 1999. And then also, Drew Brees was the quarterback for the Purdue Bo Boilermakers, and and it's like look and just look at them now. Tom Brady is like him or hate him, he's definitely one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. He's up there with Joe Montana and and all 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 the all the great quarterbacks, and Drew Brees as well. Like he's even making records still, and. It's just a real treat to watch them in, and I can see them retiring probably in the next couple of years or so. Not sure exactly when, but won't be. I don't think it'll be too long from now. And before I know it, I can easily see both of them make it to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. So if if you are a American football fan, or if you're just here in the Canton, Ohio area, you definitely have to make a stop here. If you're a football fan, this is basically a a pilgrimage, as I was saying at the beginning of the video. Because yeah, I, I had a really great time checking out the museum. But yeah, as of right now, the tickets for adults is like $25. And, and if you park here, it's an extra $10. But, but yeah, if you're a football fan, it's incredibly worth it. So I, I, I hope you enjoy this little vlog here at the Pro Football Hall of Fame here in Canton, Ohio, because I had a great time here. 
So if you want to watch more of my trial videos, definitely click on this video link over here. Well, thank you for watching today's video here at the Pro Football Hall of Fame here in Canton, Ohio. And this is Scott, or the Scott Man, signing out.